How do I know it's recording? Oh man, Google has this giant setup, and Kelsey has a memory card from Imperial Alliance, so I'm shooting this with his phone, which is weird. He's gonna let me borrow it. Um, I'm working on installing, I'm deleting the bucket from the G35, and I'm installing a control arm that's adjustable so I can uh, change my toe in the rear. I'll show you guys. Look right here, I don't know if you can see it, but the toe is like significantly in, and with the stock arm, you can't really adjust it too much until you get really uh, low. So right now, I'm already kind of halfway, it came a little late. I already got this one in there. So I just gotta bolt it down, sort of adjust it by eye, and do the other side. And uh, today is awesome because a lot of my friends are coming over and we're gonna do uh, FD live stream because uh, Formula Drift is happening today in California. Taylor's over there having fun. Not really, because he has to work the booth. But, I mean, he gets, he gets to see a lot of people, so his uh, video's gonna be really sick. I can't wait for that. So what's cool about this kit that I got on eBay is that it has lockout uh, bolt. It came with it. So that's where you normally would adjust the, the rear toe on this setup, but they, they, they give you this plate, and they, it centers out the bolt, and then now you adjust it from here. Ryan Little. Here, <laughs> which is proper. That way this is not going to uh, spin on you. So let's bolt it down and do the other side. It's really hard to tell what your toe is when it's up in the air like that. But it, it, it is somewhat of a distinction right now. It looks pretty good to me by eye. Obviously, I is really not very good to uh, to go by. I'm gonna go get an, a, an alignment, proper alignment. But you want to set it up decent so you drive it to the alignment rack, and it's not going everywhere. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna do the other side now. A little trick: if you're ever installing these arms, make sure the distance from this side is the same as this side, because if you have the distance off, the way this adjusts is it adjusts in the center, and one, and one of these is uh, left threaded. So when you go like that. It, it moves in or out, it pushes both of them out or it pushes both of them in. And if they're not the same distance, you're gonna run off on one before the other one. So you're, you don't have your full adjustment. If you guys hadn't noticed, I now have true coilovers in the rear of my G. Usually the spring would go on that bucket thing, and, which goes right here, and it'd go right to here. And then the shock just goes by itself. But I decided to run true coil over and we're testing different spring rate uh, on my car. And uh, this is a 5K, um, which I really like so far. So I did have uh, the rim rubbing right there because of all the camber. So when I fix the camber by getting a, a camber arm, it's down here. When I fix that camber so the rim doesn't rub anymore, now the toe is off. So I needed to get those arms. You can also get these arms right here. And that also helps with adjusting the toe from the front, but that's more of a caster arm than toe. This one's direct. So the way you tighten these is you put a wrench on this side. These wrenches are huge. I don't have too much room. What's also about these is there's one on the other side as well. salt in my bay. Oh yeah. Oh, you like that? <laughs> Best burgers in town. What's up? So I know you guys have been uh, wondering on Taylor's video what's going on with this dent over here on this fender. Because when I bought this car I didn't have it. Well, um, I, everybody makes mistakes. So I made a big mistake. I bought these wheels. They're three-piece wheels. 
and what it is is the back comes off of it and it's a, a spacer adapter that goes with the rim it came with it and I didn't know and the wheel ended up coming and falling off and hitting the fender luckily I was only going like five or ten miles an hour so nothing much more than that happened uh, and then I got these wheels but um, basically you, you know you, you, no one is perfect and things like that happen I got a new fender and Justin my best friend the guy that owns the Supra you guys have seen him in other videos and the guy who painted these wheels He's the one that's going to be painting the fender to color match it. This fender is uh, a lighter gray It's not the same gray as my car So it's actually the best base that we could come up with to paint for my car because it's already a base color It's not a, a, a crazy offset color best part about getting a new car is putting new stickers on it I love it Huge, it's such a cool rig. It is huge, but it shoots 4K. <laughs> Alan's here. What's up? He brought chicken, apparently. Yeah, of course. My dog won't leave him alone now. Uh, you can't have any chicken. <laughs> no. Kelsey's here. She brought cookies. And she's cooking. Yeah. I have a woman. Bro, what, what does that have to do with anything? I can cook, and I'm not a woman. All right, well, you know, next time I'll prove it. Can and good at. Are I will prove things. it next time. More people showed up. It's a thing, okay? Holy shit. You, you shouldn't even be thing. talking. You're the, you're the color of a tomato, okay? <laughs> you shouldn't be talking right now. This is not tomato color. This kind of matches your Not your shirt, your, your body, because you guys went to Wakaiba. You're, you're not even a white girl anymore. You're a pink girl. <laughs> Ashley finally made it. It's like a little red tomato eating chips. Oh, my God. guys bye this is the end of this video everybody else is leaving my house oh oh kelsey, I, gotta show, I gotta show you the trick with the pit bike kelsey's getting aggressive or angel might have snapchat that i don't know okay you you did you do a trick with your pit bike yes do it with the big bike no well, okay. why bye. you have to see it it's bye nice. anyways guys uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Uh, next video coming up. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stay on my horse. I'm, I got this. I'm gonna keep videoing. Uh, Kuko's gonna be on my back about it. Yeah. And so is Alan. Yeah. And John. <laughs> he ran away. Yeah, he but but he knows what I mean. So <laughs> thank you guys. Bye.